Hi, welcome to Coder Dojo Virtual Edition. My name is Lori. Today is the last in our series of HTML and CSS. Following this session, we will move on to a new computer language. Likely, it will be Python. For today, I'm going to go through how to add background images to your website. So you'll have your content on top with an image behind it. It really does add a great deal of interest to your website. Following that, I'll share with you the many links that I have used in my journey to learn HTML and CSS and that you can use con to continue in your personal journey. Let's get started with background images. You'll see that in the website I had been working on, I have just left two paragraphs because the rest um, was for your learning. Now I'm just going to focus on background images. So you'll see in my two paragraphs, I have a background image and the content on top. And I think it really does bring the website to life. So I've left this paragraph here without any background image, and I'll go through the process of adding an image here with you. Let's go back into our code. So once again, we will be in CSS. I named this last paragraph scenery using the class equals element. So I want to add an image. So once again, as with adding an image to the website, back in assets, you'll see I have several images already loaded. Before I recorded this, I tried to use this image as a sunset. But what happened was it only because I'm setting the pixels so the size of this image it only focused in on the top of the image so it didn't look like a sunset i went back then and cropped my image so i'm hoping this time when i choose this image it will actually show the orange of the sunset let's try it together so click on the image hit copy Go back here to CSS, and there's our scenery paragraph. We're going to type in background hyphen image colon space URL round bracket, and then paste that URL. And let's see if our image is over here. And it is. And nicely enough, you can see it's got the orange of the sunset in it. So in order to make the image larger and the text inside that box, we're going to add padding which I did with the other images as well. So let's go back and see. Here we have the water, I did 40 pixels. The top introductory paragraph, I have 100 pixels. For this one, I think padding of about 300 pixels might be right. And we can adjust. Padding 300 px. Let's look at it in a new window and see what we think. I think that's perfect. You can tell that that sky is a sunset. I wouldn't mind having part of that island visible. So the way around this is to go back and crop my image again. I'm sure you can see many things you would like to 
add or do differently with this website. And that's exactly what I hope I've inspired you to do. Go back, look at the things we've already learned and modify till you have a website that you can be proud of. Now I'm going to share with you many of the resources that I have used. These resources are available from the Kingston Frontenac Public Library and there are three books that I have used to begin my journey into HTML. These links are what they call cheat sheets. So an HTML cheat sheet, the top one here is a PDF document um, and it outlines definitions about tags, attributes, elements, etc. This HTML cheat sheet is interactive, so you'll review it on your computer and it too has an abundance of information. These two websites, um, HTML tutorial from W3 Schools, is just outstanding, um, as is Code Grepper. You can ask any question imaginable about HTML on either of these sites. Often you will get a demonstration of the code and what it will look like but all questions are quite well explained through these two websites. This tutorial on YouTube by EJ Media was really my go-to learning for being able to put together the HTML series. This series of recordings has more than 30 short tutorials for HTML. When you get to the end of the HTML tutorials, they begin with CSS tutorials, which are just as informative, short, concise, and really clear to understand. If I could only have one resource for my HTML learning, this is the one it would be. I hope that you have enjoyed your HTML Coder Dojo series. Next session will be a whole new language. This was designed to give you an introduction to coding with HTML and allow you to then explore independently the concepts that were delivered in this session.